This Sunday will mark the 30th anniversary of Rivers Day, a day to celebrate our waterways and raise awareness about the benefits they provide. From humble beginnings in this province back in 1980, the event has grown into a global phenomenon. And as Linda Aylesworth reports, the worldwide success comes down to one man who was determined to make a difference. Well, this is a shot from 1980, the very first Rivers Day. As you can see, my hair was a little redder and a lot thicker. Than that. <laughs> 30 years ago, Mark Angelo got yeah, it into his youthful show. head that BC's amazing system of rivers deserved their own day. We pulled together about 40 uh, paddlers and a flotilla of rafts, and we traveled basically from Spencer's Bridge to Lytton, picked up tons of debris and garbage. Every year from that day on, more and more people joined in, cleaning up and celebrating the rivers and streams in their own communities. In the early 90s, the province made BC Rivers Day official. So before we knew it, um, you know, over the last several years, Rivers Day grew to a point where in British Columbia alone, we had well over 100 events and up to 75,000 people involved. And we're heading down to Still Creek, which is a, an incredible little waterway. Angelo's love of rivers started at an early age. As he grew, so did his passion. When I met him in 74, I knew that his love for the conservation of rivers was huge, but little did I realize it was his heart and soul. You didn't know you'd be sharing him? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but such enthusiasm is infectious, and Kathy came to embrace her husband's cause. Oh, this is a Zambezi, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And there's that tiger fish I caught. I've traveled on and along probably a thousand rivers uh, around the world and, uh, uh, and I've had great experiences. I've been very fortunate to do a lot of those trips with my wife. And that's the hippo that uh, charged our boat and he opened up his jaws and that's when he clamped down on that chamber in a raft and it exploded and three of us went in the river. During his many travels, you can believe that Mark spread the word about river conservation. As a result, six years ago, with the blessings of the United Nations, World Rivers Day was declared. We have events going on uh, on the Ganges River, on the Yamuna River. We have work uh, projects going on across Europe, great projects going on in England on the Thames. There are World Rivers Day events in Russia, in Cameroon, in West Africa. From the beginning, since he was an instructor at BCIT's Fish and Wildlife Program, a department he would later head up, Angelo has believed that saving our waterways depends on future generations. One of our, our main objectives is to try and support and mentor the next generation of river stewards. You see wildlife all the time, you hear all the sad stories or whatever, but here you actually make a difference. You're making things better. Today, as chair of the Rivers Institute at BCIT, Angelo's message of river conservation is reaching more people than ever. For his efforts and accomplishments, he has received the Order of Canada. Well, I look back over the last 30 years, and it's been wonderful to see the, the growth in this event. And to see it take off globally, I think, is so exciting. But to know that the genesis of that international river celebration can be found right here in British Columbia, uh, I think that's pretty neat. If you'd like more information about this weekend's Rivers Day events in your community, you can find a link to the website on our website. That's globaltvbc.com. Just look under links in the news.